Hey Guam, I'm Joanna Delson from the Joint Region Marianas Public Affairs Office and thank you for joining us for another edition of Island Palette. With me today we have Mr. Owen Bollinger from the village of Petey Nimitz Hill and today Owen will be making... Sutangun. And can you explain to our viewers a little bit about what that is? Uh, Sutangun, in my family we call it a Sutang Candelaria and it's basically a soup you make with anything you have in the pantry. So you can feel free to add and subtract and build it however you might want to go. But some of the staples for this soup are the Guam string bean, we got some onions, some bell pepper, celery and carrot, tomato, fresh tomato, canned tomato, and uh, potatoes, the, the mung bean noodle, and chicken. And then I'm also going to throw in some onion powder, some garlic powder, and smoked paprika. Now, Owen, you have this all kind of laid out already to throw into the pot. Is there any type of measurement that you used um, to kind of decide how much more or less to put in? Not necessarily. I, I just kind of go with it. And, um, you know, if you, if you want more of something, I like tomatoes, so we have a lot of tomatoes going on. Uh, you can add and subtract. I guess that's the nature of the soup. You know, you, 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 you add what you want, you take away what you want, and there's no real uh, rule, I guess you can say. If we're ready, I'm kind of hungry, so let's go ahead and start cooking. We'll start with the chicken. Hit it with some salt and pepper. What I'm going to do with the chicken is just cook it till it gets some color on it. I'm not going to completely cook it right now. And so I'll end up actually taking it out in a little bit and throwing in the vegetables and everything else. And I just kind of leave it till it releases itself from the pan. You, know, you can use any cut of the chicken. You can do it just with wings and drumettes. Can you tell us a little bit about the noodle that you're using and where people can find it? Yeah, it's, um, it's available at most stores and I have the package. It's marketed as vermicelli, but it's, uh, it's made from the mung bean. It doesn't have much flavor, but it's more of a texture thing. And then we can go straight in with the vegetables. We'll do onion, um, bell pepper, and carrots and celery. I have garlic powder, and then next we'll go in with the uh, the powders and the stewed or the stewed tomatoes. We'll let it get come up again, and it's already bubbling nice. The next step would be to add our our stick, our, our stock, yeah, three quarts of liquid. I just bought some chicken stock at the store, so it's a, it's it's about half that and half just water, so to give a lot of good flavor. So we just, are we just waiting for this to come to a, yeah. a boil? It's already, it's already just about there. Okay. We can put the chicken back in. So now I want to just bring it to a, a boil, a nice rapid boil. Let's, let's put the potatoes in. We give them about five to six minutes and then we'll, we'll finish up and put everything else in. And then bring it again to a rapid boil. And so you can see the noodles turn clear. And then once it boils, we'll throw in the, the frijoles and it's, um, it's done. So we've just finished cooking our suk tutangun. Suk -tangun. And uh, Owen and I are going to go ahead and try out and, and see what it tastes like because it smells delicious already as it is. So The potatoes aren't mushy. It's still very good. The tomatoes are really good. I um, got a little bit of the chicken, and the chicken is cooked all the way through. So I guess as we kept cooking it and, and letting it boil, it eventually had everything fall through. But I mean, this is really good. This is probably one of the best I've had so far. Thank you, Guam, for watching this edition of Island Palette. And stay tuned for more of your island favorites. Adios. Yes.